Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to todayifeellike.com. I am currently working on a review of this little Palm mini smartphone and I figured, hey, I have to set it up. Why not show you how I set it up? And so this is a video on how to set up your Palm, especially if you're using another Android device, which is kind of cool since this is sort of designed to be a companion device. It works perfectly in that sense. So let's jump in. I'll show you how to set up your Palm and here we go. Okay, so this is how to set up the uh, the phone. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click where it says go because it has my language already. You can change uh, your various languages here if you want. I'm gonna go ahead and leave mine on uh, English there for United States and click go. And now it's gonna ask you to accept all the terms and conditions and whatnot. I'm gonna go ahead and select each of these except for the share usage and diagnostic data. I don't like the, uh, the give people that much access. So I'm gonna click the terms and conditions and privacy, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click agree. Now you'll see here it says device activation. Note, you can set your phone, you can set up your phone using Wi-Fi, but you won't be able to make or receive calls until your phone has been activated. Also, you will not be able to make emergency calls after this, uh, after this screen until you finish the setup wizard. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next. Now it's gonna say connecting to Wi-Fi. It's gonna look for various Wi-Fi networks on here. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll through. And one thing that I'm noticing right away is that I'm only gonna be able to use um, the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. And the reason why I know that is, is because I have a couple of 5G network, five gigahertz networks, and they are not showing up on the list here. So if I hit see all Wi-Fi networks here, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down. I'll see some other ones, but all the ones that I'm seeing are all 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi networks. So I'm gonna go ahead and select mine. And I'm gonna go ahead now and put my password in so I can get this going. And we can see there it says connect to Wi-Fi and it's uh, connecting now. It says it's checking for my password. Oh, apparently I put my password in wrong. So I need to go ahead and put that in again. All right, so I went ahead and put my password in there and it says now checking for updates. It says this may take a minute or two, so uh, just be patient and this should uh, be able to get through and uh, get your phone updated and ready to start using it. Okay, so there we go. I guess the updates are done. It says set up your palm. How would you like to set up your palm? Set up as new or copy, uh, copy your data. I'm gonna go ahead and select copy my data because I actually already have an Android phone. So it says bring your data uh, from a backup from an Android phone uh, or backup from cloud. So I can sign in with my username and password. I'm gonna go ahead, or you can use an iPhone as well. It says an iPhone device. I'm gonna go ahead and choose backup from an Android phone. I'm gonna go ahead and choose that there. It's gonna say just a second and checking info. It's gonna say on other device, open Google app. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that down for a moment. And I'm gonna grab my, uh, my Galaxy Z Flip here and I'm gonna open that up. All right, so now I, have the, uh, I, now I have the Google app open on my Z Flip. You can see how big it is. It doesn't even fit on the screen at the same, you know, at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next there. And then it says, and the Google app on your other device, say okay. Um, on your other device, say okay, set up my new device or type in set up my new device in the search box. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in set up. Oops, let's go ahead and say set up my device there. So we'll go ahead and do that there. And you'll see here, it's gonna say insert SIM card, connect to Wi-Fi, import backup data, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click next there. It's gonna say verify device, look for the name on your other device here. So I am not seeing that just yet. Yeah, I'm not seeing the option to set up my device on here just yet. All right, so I went ahead and uh, got this thing set up. Part of the reason was I was not on the same Wi-Fi network because I have this one on a five gigahertz network. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit send data here. And it's gonna say, uh, do you wanna connect devices? I'm gonna go wirelessly. And there we go. So let's see, it's because you can uh, smart switch from the Play Store by scanning QR code. I'm gonna go ahead and just click this here and see if I can do this. Um, if I can't get it this way, I'm gonna try something else here. It says verify. Um, look for the other, look for the, the name on your other device. 
All right, I'm finally getting it going. Apparently, I had to try it a little bit different way. I think it's probably because these two phones are on two different operating systems. And so, anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and click Next here. It asks, it's asking me to verify the shapes. I'm gonna go ahead and select Next. We can see here it says, continue on your other device. It's asking me to copy to your new device. So I'm gonna go ahead and select Copy. It's gonna ask me to verify it. So I'm gonna use my fingerprint to verify right there. And now it's going to start copying my accounts here. Now I really like this because it's really nice that I can uh, go ahead and copy over my accounts and don't have to worry about uh, putting all my account information in there. It will actually get sent right over from, my, from this device over to, uh, over to the Palm. So there we go, I had to put in a few passwords. It says here, it says almost done, continue setup on uh, the PVG100. So over here, it's gonna ask me to, uh, if I wanna back things up, I'm gonna go ahead and click on more and I'll click more again. I'm gonna go ahead and click more one more time and I'll click more again until I get to the bottom and now I'm gonna go ahead and click accept. And now it's gonna ask me if I wanna protect my palm. I'm gonna go ahead and say yeah, cause I actually do. I'm gonna go ahead and choose face recognition and I'm gonna go ahead and click setup. And I'm gonna need to uh, set this up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click agree. And I'm gonna choose a secondary method for a pin. And so now it's gonna say secure startup. When you enter further to protect your device uh, requiring a pin, I'll choose yes. And now I need to choose a pin for my pass, uh, for my pass lock my pin lock. Okay, so I'm just about done here. We can see check what's uh, trending with Google Assistant. And I'm gonna go ahead and click close on this one because I think I'm actually done with my Z Flip. Again, you can see how uh, the size difference, it is a huge, huge difference. Even with this phone closed, you can see there's still a really big difference in, uh, in the size. This phone is about, it's maybe a little bit shorter, but it's definitely, it's like more than twice as thick and it's, uh, and it's wider as well. So it's twice as thick and it's wider. So yeah, anyhow, let me go ahead and click continue on here now and I'll hit more. It's gonna ask me, do I wanna do voice match? I'm gonna select agree. And now I'm gonna have to go through and, uh, and actually set up the voice uh, recognition on here. So we'll wait for this to go through. I'm gonna click continue. And it's gonna say restoring, can't restore. So I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. And it's gonna say navigate your palm with a touch button. I'll click uh, next. And it says always use navigation bar. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'll click next and leave that there. Life mode. I'm gonna say skip for right now because I don't wanna turn life mode on right now. Life mode is one of those modes that allows you to sort of uh, sort of tone every, tune everything out. It, it reduces the amount of notifications and stuff you get through. So I'm gonna leave that alone for right now. All right, so it looks like I am ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on got it and uh, get this thing going. And there we go. I am set up and I am ready to go. Now I can start using it. We can, uh, we can check things out here. So if I go to Google Photos right here, It'll open up and it should start loading up some of my uh, photos. It's gonna ask me if I wanna back up and sync. I'm gonna go ahead and click confirm on there and we'll see if it's gonna start showing up. Yep, we're gonna start showing things there. And so let's see, we'll click some stuff here. Yep, there we go. Photos are starting to show up. Just a photo I took a while back. Some shots I took when I was in New Orleans. Yeah, so, all right. Looks like that is starting to work there. And you know, if I wanna to go to something else here, if I wanna to go to, uh, to Google, I can click that right there. And there we have Google that opens up. I have, uh, let's see, what is this? This looks like that's a Google Duel right there. So I can open up Duel. It looks like I'll be able to do some video chatting on there. Yep, so we'll go ahead and click Allow, and Allow again, and Allow again, and yeah. And there we go. So. Yeah, it's definitely working. So uh, everything I need to have set up for the most part is set up and I can do uh, handle any of the specifics a little bit later. All right, everyone, so there we have it. That is how you can set up your Palm mini smartphone from straight out of the box. Now, you can do this in different ways. You can set up using, well, just a manual setup method, or you can set up using a backup from Google, or you can set up like I did using my other smartphone, like uh, an iPhone or an Android phone. In this case, I used my other Android phone, 
and it was easy. I was able to transfer over my apps and my photos and my video and uh, my email accounts and all that good stuff. So it worked, uh, it worked out really, really well. So yeah, so if you are looking at getting one of these phones and you want to see what the setup process is like, well, this is one way you can do it. And if you are trying to get it set up and it didn't go as smoothly, you just needed a reference, well, there you have it. That is, uh, that is the way I set mine up and it's working out nicely. So yeah, anyhow, I am gonna do a full review of this. I'm working on it now. So, you know, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Check back, hit that, sub, you know, hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you get notified and all that good stuff. So, but yeah, this is the Palm smartphone. It's a little mini phone. I'm gonna leave a link to it down in the video description. I'm also gonna leave a link to my Amazon page and all my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with todayifeellike.com. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace. <laughs>